Hello everyone and welcome back to Project Architect. We are back on the server and we are checking out um, another base. Now, it might look familiar and you might remember, uh, previously we checked out the base that is actually on the other side of that little well there. Um, it's similar to this base. We, we can jump through. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. Hopefully things load quickly for us. Um, I believe both bases are from the same person, uh, Failed Cavern. Um, or I think, the, I think they're Team's called Failed Cavern, but I think their name is Failed Migration from memory. I, I think so. So, oh, if, if, oh, yep, oh. <laughs> if you remember this base, it was the crazy like uh, farming base and, and that sort of stuff. Um, now, while we're here, um, I guess we can we can have a look at something. Okay, so, um, oh, oh, look at this. This was not here last time we checked out, so that's pretty cool. Um, if you recall, um, I, I kept talking about how I wanted to check out shaders. Um, Optifine wasn't really working for me. And, and on top of that, it's, it's very like laggy and stuff. Um, check out this. If I press K on my keyboard, I'm, I'm showing this off in all my videos because I don't care. Um, we wait a few seconds. I didn't do a cut there. That was live. Shaders are now on. Um, the shader pack in question is currently, as you can see, I've got a bunch more on the, in the list now. Um, Sora shaders. These are new ones that I've never tried before, and honestly, I quite like them. I quite like them indeed. Um, so, oh, here we go. They're, they're pretty nice. It, it keeps the map a little bit vibrant, so it doesn't feel too different, hopefully, from uh, vanilla. And and so, yeah, we, we can sort of, we can check out some of these old bases like, oh my god, look at that. That is spectacular. Um, we can check out some of these old bases on how they look with, you know, the added, you know, lens flares and, and reflections and shadows, because... It, it does look beautiful. A, a, a fresh reminder because you can do that with these mods I'm using. I'll, I'll, I'll say what they are in a second. But I get, uh, watch. I'm moving. I'm moving. I press the keybind. Look at. Isn't that phenomenal? I man. I I am. I I probably will never stop talking about how amazing that is. Um. So the mods in question. Um. One mod is called Rubidium. I think we might actually be able to see them in the F3 menu if I can load that up. If I can figure that out. Um. So we can have a look at a few things. On the right side of the screen, oh, I'm pressing all the buttons. Um, you can see Rubidium. That's the uh, that's the performance mod in question. And then the mod that allows us to get shaders is actually called Oculus. So this one right here. Um, very cool. And I'm very, very happy with um, how compatible they are now. Because for, for a while, they existed, but they weren't compatible with things like Create, which is on, in pretty much every pack we play. Uh, but if we hop back in this well, because we've checked out that previous base, we can head over here. We can check it out, you know, um, normal. That, now... Uh, I, I do want to stay on, on focus for checking out this base. There's quite a lot going on, which you may or may not be able to see. Um, so the main things I want to look at, I, I think, there's a little house over there. There's this massive tower. There's that cool thing, which might have something below it. It's sort of hinting that there's something below this, like, um, silo, hangar sort of ground thing, bunker even. Um, over there, there's a farm. There's a building in the mountain there. Um, over here, we have two more rooms in the mountain. Um, and then I think you saw on the map, there's a massive highway or something. And I want to sort of see what happened over here because it looks like it's either it was a work in progress or it, um, or, or, or something horrific happened to it. Um, but I think that's pretty much everything. There's also like some stuff down here. We'll check out. There's quite a lot going on. And at any point, if we're like, oh, you know what? We've got too many frames. We've got, <laughs> we've got too many frames per second. I can just press K. We can wait like for... Depending on the, the shader pack you pick, it takes a few seconds, but man, try and do that with Optifine. Try and just switch instantly. Man, I... <laughs> okay, okay, I need to stay on track. I'm... I, uh, I'm... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm too excited because... Um, I, I, you don't understand how many hours, and I'm not even exaggerating, how many hours I've wasted trying to get shaders to work, trying to mess around with um, Optifine shaders, and the, just the loading screens take hours. Uh, anyway, anyway. <laughs> okay. I want to I want to check out this thing. L let's be honest. That's what we're all sort of looking forward to. I'm going to check out this first. Uh, yeah, we'll check it out first. So, um, first of all, the design looks beautiful. Um, this in of, it, in of itself, just if, if you had this and underneath it was just a normal base, beautiful. That is phenomenal. Um, so, the standards, you know, you would have to... Underneath this would have to be pretty ugly to, to mess this up. Um, so, we've got plating blocks everywhere um, as these, you know black blocks or the gray blocks and then we've got factory hazards as the well the hazard blocks um here is an elevator we can go ahead and go down here we are oh okay so underneath this is actually a, oh oh what's this is that diamond 
I think this is Molten Diamond. For some reason, um, now, now listen, you get this with pretty much everything. The, the shaders, you know, they're a bit buggy with uh, visuals and whatnot, but this down here is Molten Diamond. You know what? It actually looks, it looks like Molten Diamond. Whatever Molten Diamond would be in the real world. I, I don't know if that's a thing. Um, I also don't know why things are flat. Oh my God. Okay, a anyway. Um, so, so this is actually taking Molten Diamond, Infinite Molten Diamond, might I, might I add. Is that, wait, is that wood down there? Oh no, it's more of these bricks. Um, so it is taking that, and as you can see by the particle effects over here, it is pumping them and filling it up in, in here, filling all these up, and that's like infinite EMC, and, and it's it's pretty ridiculous. Um, there is not another level down, but we can head back up, um, and there we go. We've checked that out. <laughs> nice. Um, so I'm, I sort of want to... I don't know how to check out this base. I, I guess we'll check out the tower next, because it seems as though most floors, possibly all floors, are empty, um, but it's, it's a beautiful foundation for what would be something. Um, in the previous base they made, um, this tower of power, if you would call it such, um, each level was like a different, uh, essentially a different mod or a different function. You know what I mean? Like one level might be generations. One might be another thing. Um, oh, oh, oh whoa. Okay. Well, I, I guess that saves us some time. It is, um, definitely work in progress. Oh, look at the view outside. Oh, it's beautiful. And the sun out there. Um, by the way, um, n now that I now that I love shaders again, and I'm, oh wait, basement? No, okay. Um, do feel free to suggest some if you know some shaders that you want me to check out, um, because I, I'm on the I'm on the look for like the perfect shader. Um, okay, what is happening here? Here we have a source berry. Oh, okay. So um, we, we've actually oh, I didn't mean to press that. Sorry. Um, we've actually looked into source berries before a little bit, um, because obviously source gems are worth a lot. But source berries, whilst not being worth a lot, um, the the thing that grows them is worth a lot. Does that make sense? I swear there was like a um, there was like a berry, a berry berry, a berry something. What's it called? Is it in here? Blossom berry, blossom berry. Oh, sorry, it wasn't actually the source berry I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the mage bloom because look at this, thirty two thousand EMC per seed. If you could farm them, man, you would be rolling in dough. Uh, but no, this is a source berry, and it's got a bunch of absorption hoppers, oddly enough, um, placing in another spot. So I'm guessing either, I, I'm guessing there was like a some crazy growth going on here in order for this sort of setup to uh, to handle it. But it, it seems decommissioned, so I'm I'm, I'm somewhat grateful of that um, for the server's sake. Um, over here we have a house that looks absolutely stunning. Um, <laughs> we've got a, a nice car. Oh, we've got a carpenter's table out the front. For multiple reasons. One reason is, well, the blocks are made out of the chipped um, blocks. So this is like a, a chipped uh, crafting table, essentially, and these are chipped blocks. Uh, but also, it's a bit of a work in progress. It's um, failed migrations, unfinished cottage. And it's unfinished, it's a work in progress, so you got the, like, carpenting tools outside. Um, inside looks nice. Ooh, a, a secret elevator in the middle there. You know what? I imagine if... Oh, no, it actually does look different. I was going to say, maybe my shaders are, like... Um, exposing that these are actually elevator blocks and not, um, oh, well, actually, oh, there's, wait, what? Why is this an elevator? What's, what? Okay. Oh, oh, it, it is a three by three. Okay. Oh, that is very weird. It, it's done successfully though. I will say that. So this is actually a three by three elevator. But they've camouflaged these blocks to blend in because below here is a three by three. And this looks so nice. Oh, what? okay, that's a bit weird. Uh, I couldn't tell that these were slopes um, from the middle. Oh, the, man, the design here is beautiful. The, um, not necessarily the, the color palette is what I'm trying to say. Like the combination of these dark oak planks and the spruce planks all chipped looks very, very nice. Um, over here, it looks like we have um, source being generated for a glyph press. Doesn't really seem like there's anything else going on here. They're just um, some volc uh, volcanic um, source links. So let's go ahead and activate our shaders again. Oh my god! I, man, I. Oh my god! I have so much fun. Um. Okay, we went up this time. There was a basement, but this is actually the second floor. So this has a beautiful bed. Do these lights normally look as spectacular as they do right now? I'm not sure. Um. A nice view outside of the of the ocean. Um. Over here, you can see the tower out that window. Um, not too much. There's a lot of nature from this, uh, location compared to some of the others we saw. Um, we have a bit of a desk, uh, set up. They're counters, so you would think that it's, like, maybe 
maybe a, maybe potentially a bar in the future because there is a dining table up here uh, but there's also like a bed there's a, there's not really much um walling you know what i mean it's a very open plan um we'll go, we'll go down there so let's go down this is the first basement level um this the, for a base man talking about inspiration the concept of instead of like walking down hallways here here and wait what what have you done why is this a three by three but now this room's still like a two by two room what have you done what it take it back <laughs> this was perfect you just wait wait two by two Two by two. Yeah, this, this still works. You could have kept this two by two. This didn't have to be a three by three. Right? Yeah. Um, but but in, yeah, instead of having hallways down here, you could have the hallways diagonally. And it doesn't look too weird. You know what I mean? Like sometimes if you try a diagonal uh, hallway, obviously in Minecraft with uh, with cubes, it doesn't necessarily look good. But this, I think this works quite well. Um, it, it's clearly a work in progress. There's, there's clearly some, some plans going on here. Um, that, that didn't come to fruition and, and I feel like I take a bit of blame there because the series sort of did slow down a bit. Um, but anyway, anyway, we'll see. All right, that, that's the last level. Let's um, head back up. Um, but the promise was there. The inspiration was there. Um, it just didn't quite make it out. Oh, you know what? Just in case this becomes the thumbnail, let me snap that up. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Where are we up to next? Um, let's see. Um, we can have a look at the bunch of little stuff down here. Um, so, so what do we have? We have a clock that's dispensing probably bone meal or something, right? Yeah, bone meal to grow this stuff. Um, that's being harvested and sprinkled and is there and a growth lamp uh, or sorry, a lamp of growth in the middle there. What is that? That's water. Okay, it looks a little weird. Um, what else? Oh my god, look at the dropped items removed. <laughs> Man, th this server is uh it's chugging away. It's it's doing pretty good considering. <laughs> um, what do we have over here? Pretty much the same thing. Um, so, so a bunch of these um, mage blooms being farmed. I wonder if that means that the mage blooms do drop seeds. I don't think they do, but I guess it's it's possible. It's possible. Uh, we have a power flower. We have a bunch of network transmitters. Oh, over here, we have a create contraption. It looks like it's making some sort of mechanism. So we do have some automation going on here. Well, one thing I wish I did with uh, Project Architect is we should have um, put a... What am I trying to say here? We should have put an EMC value on all of the create stuff so that people could build with them a little bit easier without having to, like, whilst this looks nice, if you had to do this for everything, it would be so annoying. Um, what's this? Max 19 at a time. Huh. Okay, I, I'm guessing if you try to make 19 more, uh, like more than 19, it just breaks. It, it can't handle that many on the conveyor belts. Okay. Um, and then we've got the power over here in the, in the water wheels and whatnot. It's pretty nice. Um, over here, what do we have? Um, I, I like the uh, hazards around where like you shouldn't stand sort of thing. I, I like that. Um, what's going on? There's a few things going on here. One is making, it looks like um, electron tubes, maybe, potentially. Yeah, it's polishing the uh, quartz there. Over here, we have some uh, golden sheets being stamped and whatnot. And then I guess they're being put together over there, most likely. Um, okay, nice. Looks good. Oh, what are these? Uh, glowstone stalactites. Beautiful. Alrighty, next up we can come up here. Um, and now what is going on? It looks like a tree farm. Uh, acacia saplings. We've got once again like the lamps of growth. We have uh, some, you know, sprinklers and whatnot. Um, and then up here we have the terra glass. Man, look at the reflection coming off that terra glass. That is, yeah, I mean, it's something to behold. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, anyhow. Um, I don't know if it works. One would assume it works. Um, oh, I was going to get bone meal, but... There we go. It it works. Beautiful. What, what more do you want? Um, up here, we have a few more uh, power flowers. They're sort of sprinkled around where it's... They, they don't look bad. <laughs> They're just sprinkled around. Um, we have an elevator up here, which I guess I'll go down. Sure. Why not? Um, so here we go. This is now the big room we saw in the mountain here. Um, oh, beautiful. We've got some factory vent fan big. <laughs> you, you know what's a good... And, and they've got a lot of uh, blocks when they start resorting to just keywords that you would like search in Google. Factory vent fan big. <laughs> like, okay, n not, a, not a big factory vent fan. You know, not that, just factory vent fan big. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. Um, we've got a few of those spaced around to uh, keep keep this nice, pristine area, um, you know, cooled. It, it, it feels cool. In fact, I feel like, yeah, oh my God, these black soul fires give off the effect of like, 
obviously they're giving off light, but they give off like a like your your cold breath as you walk around the room, um, because obviously it's it's so cold in here with all the all the big vent fan fan big. Um, uh, over here we have some beds. This is a very clinical area. Okay, clearly, clearly once again. Oh, oh what, what's this say? Um, EMC collection. I I guess it's collecting the EMC. Wait, wait, what's this actually making? Oh, it's making EMC interfaces with I guess all the stuff they're making. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a that's a lot of EMC, my friend. <laughs> that is a lot of EMC. Uh, two of these is 1.2 billion EMC. So like you've got a, quite a few billions of EMC uh, stocked up there. Um, all right, we'll we'll head out. Oh, it's a sign, but it says nothing. Um, all right. Um, I think in that case, we'll we'll have a little look around the shore. I, I'm not. I don't necessarily think there's anything there. Oh, you know what I am a little bit disappointed about already with this shader pack I'm using in particular? The water, whilst it looks beautiful, it's not wavy. You know, I like me a good wavy water. <laughs> I know it's not for everyone, but man, I love me a wavy water. All right, we've got a cavern in there. We've got a, a successful cavern inside of our failed cavern's uh, claim. Um, doesn't look like there's too much around this side. In fact, it looks like the mountain was potentially even pasted here. No. You know what? Maybe it was. Very interesting. Uh, uh, anyhow, anyhow, we'll um, now check out this other mountain. Do you reckon it was pasted? No, it couldn't have been. Could it? Huh. Maybe this one was pasted too. I don't know what to think anymore. Um, all right, what do we have up there? Some trees, uh, I guess, or some remnants of trees. Um, so this first section cut out into the wall looks to be a create room. We have some nice slope blocks around here with the uh, danger signs on them, the hazard danger. Um, in, in fact, wait, hold on. These blocks are... <laughs> okay, no, it's factory hazard. I, I swear there's um, a different type of hazard block from that same mod that added the fan factory, big, big factory fan. <laughs> that's just called like factory hazard. You know, uh, anyhow, uh, this is some sort of create contraption. We've got iron going down here. I imagine being uh, stamped. Yeah, it's being pressed into sheets. We have, um, not sure what this is. Is it copper? I think it's copper. Then I think this is brass. Then I think this is gold all being uh, stamped away. Then we have, oh, look at this. We have a little grabber. Some little mechanical arms putting them away. I like that. They're putting them in the dropper to go into the chest to go into the system. A little bit of an extra step. Oh, wait, no, they tried with the importer, but instead we've got this guy. Unless, I suppose it's possible that this is duping it. I don't know that it is. I'm not, I, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying it's physically possible that maybe there's a dupe going on here. Otherwise, why have the two? You know what I mean? It's, it's listen, it's something's going on. Something fishy's going on. Because look, it does pick them up. Oh, the plot thickens. All, although maybe these uh, importers were added later. Well, I don't know. Um, oh. Oh, okay. So now this is luminous glass that leads towards the big um, the big highway that... I, I wasn't... Sh I thought it was possibly going to the claim over here, but I went here and there was none. Otherwise, maybe it's... Oh, it might, might be going all the way to uh, Winter Cooler Space. That's possible. We can, we can check out his base soon. Um, so we can check out that, that highway soon. This room... I like it. I, I, I mean, I like the room design. Very beautiful room. Uh, because if this was just flat walls, it'd be a bit weird. Um, the, the corners definitely... I don't know. It, it brings the room together. It makes it feel intentional. Um, and this dig out on the wall with the um, conveyors here, that's that's beautiful. Like, that, that is a beautiful um, scene right here. Like, the symmetry happening right there. I like it. I like it. Um, anyhow, let's continue. By the way, by the way, Pointing out uh, shaders with create. It's nice. It's beautiful. Um, all right. So now there's another level up here. This one comes out more as like a... Yeah, I was... Uh, but how would you describe this? Almost like a like a medieval in a way. Because it's like it's like a forge. You know what I mean? You've got like the dark wood. You've got the deep slate bricks. Um, it, it feels very forge. Forge-like. Oh, I like this. We've got some hazard blocks. Cutting off the area that has the the crazy lasers happening. Oh, what's actually what? Is, what am I seeing? What is responsible? Wait, well, hey, hold on. What mod is responsible for these animations that are stunning? Oh my god, what is in here? What is doing it? The modular 
router. That right there is actually a modular router. It is not a deep slate brick. What? Okay, hold on. We need to do some investigations. This modular router has the camouflage upgrade to make it deep slate. That, that makes sense. Sure. Why not? Why shouldn't you? But then the sender module Mark II is responsible for the phenomenal animation. Look at that. The blue ice goes in and then the dry ice flies. Oh my God. God, man. The problem is the modular routers, they're not user-friendly. I'll tell you that much. They're a little bit intimidating to get to. They're sort of intimidating like um, like Integrated Dynamics is, where it's scary to look at and it's scary to troubleshoot with them from memory. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But, but from memory, that was. Um, but once you get them working, like, oh, the benefits are phenomenal. I didn't know it could do that. Um, remind me in the future... Whenever we're playing, if we're playing more more mod packs, like that, ha uh, this stuff, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we're going to be playing more mod packs. I'm not suggesting that we're not. Um, but if we're playing more that have modular routers specifically, let me know because that is beautiful. Um, you know what? I think Vault Hunters has that. But I, I mean, I still haven't even unlocked a mod yet from, <laughs> from Vault Hunters. Um, we have some power flowers in the wall. They've got some reactor glass behind them because they're powerful EMC reactors. Every year we have some more hazard because I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. It's like a reactor. I I like it, but I don't know what it is. I guess that's good. I like it, but I don't know what it is. Um, what are these as well? Illuminance block inverted from the simply light mod. They they have very nice um little lights in the roof there. Um, so what's happening here? More illuminant blocks. We've even got some snow and whatnot. Very nice room, and then, and then even a nice view out the window. Oh. Okay, very very interesting. By the way, in terms of um, in terms of mods, the distant horizon mod that that allows you to see like super far without hurting your frame rate. Mm, the day that that gets shader support, it might even now. I haven't tested it to be fair, but I don't think it does. I I think my life will be complete. <laughs> I I think it will be downhill from there because. Okay, another thing I might say is I've definitely noticed above a certain Y level. I don't know if you guys are picking this up. <laughs> But these blocks are invisible, and I'll be honest, I just left-clicked that stone, and I think I just crashed my game. I, <laughs> judging by the, you know, the freezing and the spinning circle that is my cursor, that's definitely a possibility. I, I'll tell you what, I do want to check out that highway, but I have a feeling that highway is a dead end, but we'll check it out, so I'll, I'll be back. Alrighty, we've made our way to the other side of this wall, and let me just say, beautiful scene here as well, looking through here into the uh, production. Um, now that there's going to be some crazy frame rate drops and I mean, I can turn off the shaders, but like the, this, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's still like some stutters happening. Um, that's because I've just loaded into the world. Um, and th that just happens for some reason for like the next, you know, five or so minutes, it might be horrific. Um, or it might not be because sometimes as you can see, it just fixes itself. Um, but, but yeah, so this is actually a gantry shaft. Now, um, this guy spins and what you can actually do is you can place a create uh, contraption pretty much above it. And it has a little gear that will like spin along this. Um, so it's essentially, it's like a, it's like a train track. Now you guys probably see what I see and that's the lack of symmetry here. <laughs> and, and you're probably losing your mind. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, depending on how, depending on how it's built, you probably won't even see the gantry sharp. So it's like, it had to be done, you know, you, you, you had to place it somewhere, but, but you can actually make the contraption on top. Oh, and they didn't, <laughs> uh, but, but I, but, you know what? No, I've got, I've got no excuse. This is, this is, this is, you know what? I do have an excuse. It's a test, um, but yeah, here's how it works. So the gear sits on top and it actually spins all the way along. Um, all you would need to do is actually spin, um, the actual carriage itself, um, a different way as well. Um, so this obviously was a little test capsule that was going along here. Um, it goes all the way along, all the way. We, we can fly it because I don't think it goes too far. I think we're actually encountering the end of it right here. So here it is. This is as far as it got. Nice. Okay. Well, oh my God. There were, hey, listen, you know, oh, you know what? They were using the destruction catalyst. And sometimes like you, if you go through a tree, right? And then you try and break like the log, you, you want to just like break the log so it goes that way, but you accidentally click down. That's what these are, I think. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty certain that's what this is. Like, you're just clearing and you accidentally hit the bottom of a block, or I guess the top of a block. Uh, but anyhow, anyhow. So this got cleared for quite a distance. So it's definitely, it wasn't, 
I don't actually know. I'm, I'm still, I'm pretty baffled. But, but anyway, anyway, um, let, let me go back to the base real quick so that we can, I guess, say our goodbyes. Now, once again, guys, like, we've got plenty of bases to look at. I'm just currently going through the ones on Discord um, that people have, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Submitted. Submitted. Um, so that we can get those checked out um, because they're most likely, you know, finished or have a lot to show. Um, but, but we can we can make through it all. Assuming you guys still, still like watching it. Um, to be honest, even if you don't, I, I kind of really enjoy it, so, so I'd probably do it anyway, um, because if, if people don't watch it now, I'm sure at some point in the future they will, because I'm, the content like this, looking at these awesome bases, I feel like it's pretty much limitless or, or, or timeless, I guess, like, um, it, it's pretty beautiful, and, and if I can, you know, provide almost like a, a time capsule of, of all these bases through, throughout the mod packs, throughout Minecraft, I... I would feel amazing. And so I guess that's what we'll do. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Thank you again to um, Failed Cavern or, or I guess Failed Migration for uh, for building this spectacular base. Um, it's beautiful. I did have a few issues with it and I'll tell you why. Um, I couldn't find the right spot to get the thumbnail. Um, so I'm not sure what the thumbnail is going to be. I think I ended up going in here looking at in that direction because like that's pretty beautiful, isn't it? I quite like that. Maybe even like... I, I don't... How am I gonna how am I gonna snap this into a thumbnail? That could work. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah. Um so, so thank you guys. Thank you to everyone who watched um and everyone who who enjoyed. Um because obviously you guys watching and, and supporting me allows I guess our community to grow, which means more of these bases will appear, you know what I mean? M more players, that sort of thing. Um and, and, and genuinely like the Building this, like, and building that other base, like that takes so much time. Um so, so thank you so much. Um I, I, I do appreciate it the amount of effort that's, I guess, put into, into this community. So hopefully you guys had fun. Uh, thank you to everyone who supported me financially. Um, from watching the ads on the videos, that helps me out big time. Uh, to donators and channel members, thank you guys so much. Um, I, I say it every episode, and I'll hopefully say it every episode in the future, I, regardless of whether you guys <laughs> like it or not, because because thank you. Thank you. Um, and I mean it. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one where we we do something maybe we're checking out more bases maybe we play a little bit of the game <laughs> maybe we do a new ch a new challenge or something um we'll see we'll see um yeah thank you guys for watching hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye